Hello everyone, so today in this video, we're going to discuss another problem from lead code, which is asked in a lot of interviews as well. So the problem name is move zeros. The problem statement is somewhat like this. You are given an integer array nums and you have to move all the zeros to the end of this array while maintaining the relative order of the non zero elements, which means that you have to just take all the zeros and put it in the end and take all the rest of the numbers which are not zero in the start. So as you can see in this example, take 1, 3, 12 and the both of the zeros. Now the main trick in this problem is or the main uh, like the point on which you have to note down here is that you have to do this problem in in place. In place means that you don't have to make a new vector or a new space to do this. What I mean by this is you can easily just make another vector or make another some empty space and then what you can do here is in this problem you can take out all the elements which are not zeros push them into an array and just take out all the zeros element and push them in there so it will become very easy in that case but the problem is asking you to do in such a manner that you just have to do this without making a new array okay now how you can do that there can be multiple ways to do that but the best way uh, which I actually thought here is just take an example and we'll go through that to make you understand more. We'll draw out one example or we'll just take out the first example from the given example which is 0103 uh, sorry 0 1 0 3 and 12 okay so now what we can do here is we have to first take a for loop will which go from i equal to 0 till i less than uh, less than equal to less than n i plus plus so this is like an i which go from here then it goes to here and so on and at each iteration what you have to do here is that you will take another variable which is somewhat like a last variable or a j variable you can take anything so let's take it j for this purpose of demonstration and then you move your i variable at each point and check that whether that number is equal to 1 or not or like a non-zero variable if it is equal to 0 then obviously you have to some some like somewhat send it to the end then what you can do here is just take that whenever you find out a 0 find out the next number which is not 0 and you can do a while loop over that so from starting from this you'll do a while loop which is like j j move from this point to the land and check what is the next number which is uh, which is not 0 so it will find out this which means that the current number i am on is this i and the number which is not 0 because i have to place all the non zero numbers in the start so we will swap these two numbers out Okay, so after swapping out, what will happen that this will become like the first number because this is 0. The first num two numbers will swap, this will become 1 and this will become 0. Now there are two zeros consecutive. So now your i will move from this point to this point. So I will take out uh, another uh, color for i. Now i will move to this point. Now as you can see again, I will see that i am on a 0. So my i intuition will be to find out the next number which is not 0. So this is j. I will take out the pointer j with this blue. So j will start from the next value. It will check that whether this is a non-zero number. No. So it will go to this. Whether this is a non-zero number? Yes. So I will swap the zeroth number with a non-zero number. It will swap them out. So after swapping them out, this will become somewhat like this. This will become 3, it will become 0 and it will become 0. Now your j is still at this point. Your j is still at this point. And your i will move from this point to the next iteration which is this i. Now as you can see, my i is at this point now, again I hit a 0. Now for this, my j will start moving from this point only. Why should not it start from this point? Like maybe my j has reached some somewhere later in this part. But my j already know that all the elements in between are zeros only. That's why it has reached to somewhat this point. 
सो डो नॉट केयर अबाउट थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट आई शुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जस्ट द नेक्स्ट नंबर फ्रॉम आई आई शुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द लास्ट पोजिशन एट विच जे शुड बी नाउ जे विल गो टू दिस पोजिशन एंड एज यू कैन सी वेन वेन अगेन जे विल फाइंड आउट अ नंबर इट विल टेल दैट ओके डोंट वरी आई जस्ट स्वैप दम आउट सो आई एंड जे विल स्वैप दीज कंडीशन आउट एंड दिस नंबर विल बिकम ट्वेल्व एंड दिस नंबर विल बिकम जीरो ओके सो नाउ इन द एंड एज यू कैन सी द होल एरे विल बिकम लाइक दिस वन थ्री ट्वेल्व जीरो जीरो एंड योर जे इज एट द लास्ट इंडेक्स वेन यू जे इज एट द लास्ट इंडेक्स वॉट इट वॉट डज इट मीन्स इट मीन्स दैट नाउ यू कैन नॉट मूव एनी फर्दर नाउ योर जे कैन नॉट गो आउट ऑफ बाउंड टू चेक इफ आई अगेन फाइंड आउट अ जीरो माई जे विल गेट आउट ऑफ बाउंड एंड दैट्स रॉन्ग विच एक्चुअली मीन्स दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी पोस्ट ऑल द जीरोज इन द एंड बिकॉज आई हैव नो मोर एलिमेंट्स टू पुश फर्दर माई जे so that's how we're going to do this problem we'll put like a, it's like a two pointer technique this generally technique is called two pointer in which one pointer is moving in the same fashion as it is and the next pointer will move according to the first pointer what are the needs of the first pointer and that's how we're going to solve this problem out so as you can see i will take you to the code part now so this is nums a file first finding out what is the length of this array and this is last which is the second pointer which i have denoted by j This is the first for loop, which is the i. I is moving from left to right, and whenever my current element on which I am, the nums of i becomes zero, which means that this is the element I have to swap to. Now, for swapping this current zeroth element, I have to find out the next non-zero element. So I will take my last element as it is, and I will do a for loop, or sorry, a while loop, till my last last is the j pointer. It should be inbound. So if it is inbound. and the current element if it is equal to 0 if my j let's assume that this is the array this is 1 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 3 my j sorry my j my i is at this point okay then one is fine my i will go to this point now now it is 0 so from this point my j will move from this point this is a 0 so i should not take this i cannot swap both of them so i will find out the first non zero element so i will keep on moving my j till the current element i am on is a zero itself if it is zero move to the next element it is a zero move to the next element this is not zero so i will take out this element and swap this element with the ith element sorry swap this with this element and thus we have to first find out the first non zero element and we are searching here will make a while loop and if nums of this j element or the last element is zero we will move to the next element and we'll keep on moving to the next element till we find out the element we are looking for which is a non zero element then only we will break out of this while loop okay if my last if the element i'm looking for goes out of bound then we'll return out because as i've told you if i go out of bound i cannot swap out two elements so it should be in bound if i am in bound then only i should swap out the ith element and the last element i am on which is a non zero element that's how we keep on swapping out the elements and we will not move my last element we are not moving a last element last element is at that point only and then if we just return out from this whole program i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention now i am free to answer all your queries 